Hey guys, Diwali is here and today we are looking at the best Android tablet you can buy for the money. So festival is near and it's the best time to buy Android tablet. Whether you're looking for entertainment purpose, media consumption or you do some productivity work or even for gaming purpose, we have it all covered in this video. So interestingly, many of the tablets at this, let's say same price range, let's say 15 to 20,000 rupees, they offer very similar specification but doing more research will reveal that some tablet models offer better specs such as let's say either a processor is different or the display and that is when you'll be able to decide which one is really good for the price so make sure you check the model number or check the description of this video so i'll leave a link for the latest updated pricing as well otherwise you'll end up buying a downgraded variant for more price so that's the problem there so this video will obviously help you decide the right one so you're watching wig geek channel and if this is your first time here and you liked it don't forget to hit that like button share it and don't forget to click on that subscribe button so starting off with the list the number one here is the realme pad 2 priced at around 15 to 17,000 rupees. So based on the variant you choose here, whether it is Wi-Fi only tablet or 4G connectivity or even 5G tablet. So this tablet, especially this Realme Pad 2 is powered by MediaTek Helio G99. It comes with four speakers, 8360mh battery, eight megapixel rear, as well as five megapixel front camera setup with full HD video calling. And most importantly, the display. So although it's a TFT display, it's a massive 11.5 inches, 120 Hertz refresh rate display, which is excellent for the price. That's why I'm recommending here. So there are like different variants in the realme pad series so pad x pad 2 pad 2 Lite. so there are plenty of options there this is what i recommend at this price range so if you're after a media consumption tablet looking for big screen entertainment purpose tablet then the realme pad 2 should be your choice the second tablet here not the redmi we're not going for the redmi series it's the lenovo tab p12 so p12 is the model here now this tablet is absolutely fantastic when priced right first let's check what this tablet has to offer then we'll look at the price okay so it's powered by the mediatek dimension 7050 processor which is better at multitasking than the Helio G99 and even the Snapdragon 680. It's a 8 GB 128 GB variant and it's a Wi-Fi only tablet. The beauty is the display here although only 60 Hz it is a LTPS with up to 96% DCI P3 support meaning great color accuracy and even 12.7 inches 3K resolution display so it's massive display here and it has 10,200 mAh battery best in the segment 30 watts fast charging 13 megapixel rear camera as well as 8 megapixel front camera. Now the thing is just a couple of days ago the price of this tablet was like 23,000 ish rupees and today if you just check it's like 21,000 rupees and if this is the price when you check the link given in the description of this video so just go ahead and buy this Lenovo P12 okay so if it's 23k and above I'll recommend other tablet in this video so make sure to watch the video till the end now alternative to this at around 17 to 18,000 rupees so slightly above 15,000 here so you have the Lenovo Tab Plus Wi-Fi only tablet it has a Helio G99 processor again same thing like 11.5 inches 2k 90 hertz display you have the jbl speaker here front and rear 8 megapixel camera setup and excellent 8600 mh battery with 45 watts charger which is included in the box the thing is with the lenovo tablets there's plenty of models like the m10 m11 k11 with different variants and so on which will make you like confused with the model numbers and specifications so be very careful while choosing one so i've gone with the lenovo tab p12 so that's what i recommend and the prices may vary as well so there is different models at different times and they do give some really good deals so helio g99 is like the default spec here for majority of the tablet but out of that you have the mediatek 7050 for the lenovo p2 line price at like up to 21,000 rupees it's really great for the price so next up at number three we have the very budget friendly infinix latest xpad 4g tablet now this one is like priced at 12,000 rupees for the 4 gb 128 gb version and it's absolutely steal for the money 11 inch screen 90 hertz display it's lcd ips display 8 megapixel front and rear camera set up again helio g99 processing power and you get the latest android 14 this could easily be your first tablet under 15,000 rupees the only thing that could stop you is the infinix brand itself but again they are bringing new phones and tablets to establish themselves and make some name and noise so a little risk here but you are getting absolutely bang for the buck so within 20,000 rupees there are tablets from redmi oneplus and even samsung so which I'm not recommending here. Redmi although has some really good offerings at this price range but not anything special to beat the ones that I recommended. So that's why I'm not recommending Redmi at this price range. Anyways the next tablet I want to recommend is the Samsung Tab A9 Plus. So about 20,000 here. So 8 GB 128 GB RAM priced at around 21,500. Again pricing varies every day. So 11 inch screen 90 Hz display standard LCD display 7040 mAh battery 8 megapixel rear camera 5 megapixel front camera. But reason why I'm recommending this particular tablet is 
the processor used here so it's the snapdragon 695 which is better performer than the helio g99 and the second one is the samsung's one ui interface it's really good and matured and does the job really really well and it has helpful features too so if you want a samsung tablet then this is it at this price range okay under 25,000 rupees another stellar pick would be the poco pad 5g so it's uh, my favorite tablet here so it's a 5g tablet with 8 gb ram 256 gb storage 12.1 inch quad hd display 120 hertz refresh rate ips display with two good processor which is the snapdragon 7s gen 2 and a whopping 10,000 mh battery with 33 watts fast charge support so it has 8 gb front as well as rear camera setup so overall a fantastic tablet if you are a poco fan and looking for a great all-rounder and if you want a wi-fi only tablet at let's say 20 to 21,000 rupees you are getting the xiaomi pad 6 here so wi-fi only xiaomi pad 6 6 gb 128 gb variant 11 inch 144 hertz lcd display snapdragon 870 processor which is a fantastic performer 8840 mh battery 13 megapixel primary camera 8 megapixel front camera so productivity purpose this tablet is absolutely steel for the price so the pricing again consistently varies every day so make sure to check the description for latest updated pricing so as you can see i have recommended so many tablets in these price ranges again it's all about the 4g connectivity if you want that or not just wi-fi only so if you're just satisfied with the wi-fi only tablet you could easily buy the xiaomi pad 6 when priced at around 21 22 000 rupees so below that again like i recommended realme pad 2 is there so if you are looking for 5g connectivity then definitely the poco pad 5g sits at that price otherwise there is lenovo pad 12 so many tablets here but the pick would be depending on your requirements all right anything about 25,000 rupees i would suggest you either get the samsung's s9 fan edition or the latest s10 plus so depending on your budget you could opt any of those tablets i do not recommend one plus or any other brand at those price range so out of all these tablets that I recommended my my personal favorite my personal pick would be the poco pad 5g because it has all the things that you would expect from a tablet so that's it hopefully this video was informative so what's your favorite let me know in the comment section down below now if you enjoyed watching this video if this video was informative hit that like button do share it with your friends wanting to get the new tablet this season and if you are new here don't forget to click on that subscribe button as always i will see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye